Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the brand Rotary, a brand I've never actually featured on this channel before. And I'm quite excited to uh, show you this new diving model released by Rotary, their 150th Anniversary Edition Dive Watch. And it's a pretty well-made watch. I was pretty surprised by the quality and the feel of it. And yeah, um, the box is pretty simple as you can see, original British design. Um, it's a pretty simple box. Now inside the box you just get your watch and a little warranty paper. Uh, nothing too crazy, but um, yeah, that's the box. On my wrist today is the Oceanica Barracuda. This was recently released and um, almost sold out. Um, it's kind of a wave dial automatic diver, pretty cool watch. Um, but yeah, that's what's on my wrist today. Now here in front of you, if I get you in a little closer, you can see this is the Rotary Seamatic their 150th anniversary dive watch in a black and yellow configuration. There are a few other configurations as well. Now, if you didn't know, Rotary Watches was actually established in La Chaux de Fonds, Switzerland, uh, by Moise Dreyfus in 1895. Um, by the 1920s, family members George and Dreyfus began importing Rotary Watches to Britain. And in Britain, they, become pretty, they became pretty famous during World War II. A lot of... Um, British troops were armed with rotary watches, or equipped with rotary watches. And uh, since 2014 has been owned by City Champ Watch and Jewelry Group Limited. Um, but they are pretty famous more in Britain, I would say, than the United States. Um, they've been around for a long time. So they kind of have that British design. As you can see, it's written down there at the six o'clock position. But they're originally established in Switzerland in 1895. So this is a brand that goes back a long, long time and they're still around till today. Um, let's dig a little deeper into this model. As you can see, it's obviously a traditional dive watch. Um, it's 42 millimeters in case diameter, uh, which is not that bad. We're looking at a case thickness of 14 millimeters. We're looking at a lug to lug distance of 48 millimeters. We get a 22 millimeter lug width here. The bracelet's 22 millimeters, tapers all the way down to 20 millimeters at the clasp and it's 300 meters water resistant, so definitely a true dive watch, screw down crown, screw down case back. Uh, 300 meters is definitely good enough to go uh, diving with. Uh, we do get a genuine sapphire crystal as well with a cyclops. As you can see, the date is magnified over at the three o'clock position, uh, which looks pretty clear to me. Um, also, we do get 120 click sapphire uh, polished loomed bezel, which is really nice. Some nice loom on there as well as loom and all the applied markers on this nice bright yellow dial. The bezel is 120 clicks, unidirectional of course, like a true dive bezel. In terms of actually weight of this watch, you're looking at about 200 grams, so you know it has some weight to it. Um, obviously the uh, watch itself um, is going to be lighter if you remove links. comes with a lot of links. I removed about six links for my 6.5 inch wrist, so if you have a big wrist, don't worry about the bracelet on this watch. It's definitely going to fit you. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's take a closer look at the dial. We'll get into the movement. The dial is very neat. Um, you have this nice bright yellow. You have these applied circular markers. And then you have kind of a five-pointed, kind of looks like a shield uh, marker over here. And as you can see at the bottom, it does state British design. Uh, the hands are a bit quite different than your typical dive watch. Um, you can see they are hollowed out, so you can read the time. Um, this one is solid. It's a solid pointer over here, and then you get a kind of sword-like over here. There is loom on each each portion of the hands, uh, not on the black part, of course, though. Um, the loom is very, very nice. The loom is very potent. It does glow a nice green color. Um, I believe it's some type of superluminova. Now, this watch is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel. Crown is signed R with the rotary. Um, very nice finishing. Very nice case cut. Uh, very smooth, highly polished on the sides over here. Flipping to the other side of the watch, it's highly polished as well. Uh, very smooth, very smooth, uh, very good. And then the rest of the watch, including the bracelet, is brushed on the tops all the way up to here. Uh, down to the clasp, fully brushed, signed rotary on the clasp. You open this and you get a custom milled clasp. Also comes with a diver extension. So I thought that was pretty neat. With one, two, three micro adjustments. And then the sides of the bracelet are highly polished as well. Now, getting into the movement of this watch, this comes with the Miyota 8215, about a 42 hour power reserve. We do not get hacking on this movement. 
It's a very reliable movement, and sometimes I kind of like to see different movements than the NH35 in an affordable dive watch. I believe this one's about $400 from their website. Uh, we'll drop a link in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, but yeah, it's a reliable movement. It's keeping decent time. Uh, you get a screw down crown here, which is actually very easy to function. You get uh, crown guards over here, which uh, pretty much protect the whole crown. You get self winding in the first position. We pull out one position and we can flip through that date. Final position, we can set the time here. Very legible dial, very easy to read, especially that white uh, pointed hour hand. Push it back down, screw this back in, no issues there with the crown, everything functions really nice. Uh, but yeah, um, that's the 8215 by Miyota, it's a Japanese made movement. Now the bezel, it's a coin edged bezel as you can see here with that ceramic insert with Loom uh, uh, and Super Luminova on the actual bezel. It's a very sturdy with very minimal back play. This thing is definitely not going to move uh, if you set it. It's definitely a very sturdy bezel. And everything does line up to uh, the 12 o'clock position, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, the finishing on the bracelet is definitely just as good as the case, which I did notice. Um, so I find that very pleasing. It is using pins, not screws, the bracelet. And if we flip over to the back, I wanted to wait to show you this. You can see their 120, sorry, 125th anniversary. Very nice screw down case back with that custom embossing there. Um, stainless steel, water resistant, 300 meters. So you can see sapphire crystal, just very nice. Raised, very neat. I think it's pretty cool. You can see we do get solid end links on this bracelet as well. And right into a loom shot. The loom is very bright, uh, definitely really bright. You can see the there is actually blue on the minute's hand. As you can see, there's green on the hour's hand, on the pip of the sweeping seconds hand as well. The markers are definitely very bright as well as the 12 o'clock pip. I will say the markers are definitely brighter than the bezel as there's more room to apply loom. That's pretty normal, but definitely a very good loom and it's uh, quite potent. It will last a very long time. And yeah, I think they did a great job on the loom on this one. On my 6.5 inch wrist, the watch really does fit quite at home. Um, it is a you know, nice watch. I mean, it's a bit, um, I wouldn't say heavy, but it has a nice feeling on the wrist. Uh, the bracelet's very comfortable as well. The clasp doesn't poke out or anything like that. As you can see, I removed about four links, uh, four or five links, something like that. And I got a really nice fit end to end on my wrist. Definitely very comfortable. Definitely will stand out with that yellow dial. Uh, definitely really nice to match with clothing as well. That's yellow, which I found out to be quite nice. Um, but yeah, it's comfortable. It doesn't pull hair or anything like that. The bracelet, the clasp sits very nice. You see that rotary sign on the clasp there. And overall, it's a very good looking, good looking dive watch. So furthermore, guys, what do I think of the new rotary C-Matic 300 meter automatic dive watch? I think it's a pretty well-built watch. I have never experienced a rotary watch in my life. I always had an interest in them because I've heard of them before. Obviously, they're a very popular brand and definitely a brand that's been popular for a long time. I believe more in Europe than the United States, but I can say now their watches are definitely very, very well built. Um, down from the case cut to the case finishing, um, it's definitely a very nice package. You're getting the dive, um, dive clasp here, a nice milled clasp, nice custom case back as well, which is pretty cool with the 125th anniversary. Uh, milled clasp, you're getting an automatic caliber, you're getting a ceramic loomed bezel, screw down crown. It has all the goodies that you want. And also the bracelet does come over as you can see here. So no issues with that if you have a smaller wrist, um, which is nice to see. Um, interesting handset, I think it's different. You know, they obviously didn't go for something that looks like a Submariner, uh, which I do appreciate. Um, it's something different. So obviously this is not a homage watch, it's a standard dive watch, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to see Rotary doing some cool things nowadays. Um, some things I would change, I don't know, um, perhaps they can release an, a Swiss made edition. Uh, maybe make it a bit more expensive in the future. Maybe throw in a SW200, I think that would be pretty cool. Obviously it's going to drive the price up, um, you know, a lot, probably up to like six or seven hundred US dollars. Uh, but other than that, they really knocked this one out of the park. It really hugs the wrist nicely as you can see with that bracelet that comes over. And I think it's a pretty cool watch, especially really dig the yellow dial. I don't think I've ever owned a watch with a yellow dial, um, but the yellow dial and the black ceramic bezel really pops and stands out. 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of the new Rotary C-Matic. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. You can definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you enjoy watch reviews. Definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment. Do you own any Rotary watches? Have you ever heard of Rotary watches? And will you be picking one of these up? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I will see you guys on the next video. Definitely stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.